The Larner College of Medicine was founded in 1822 and is the nation's seventh oldest medical school. The facility had been designed for another system of learning. When you move to an active learning model, the largest difference is really about the flexibility of delivery and consumption. We had to prepare for active learning and the space that goes with it within the current footprint that we have. This is a finished campus. There isn't a cornfield that we can grow out into. The location of the Larner Learning Commons is very special because we're located halfway between the hospital and the College of Medicine classrooms and laboratories. We had to be very creative in designing spaces that transformed otherwise unused space or repurposing space. We repurposed the concourse outside of the library. We created a counter space to allow students to just check their emails or to have lunch. The Larner classroom was designed to accommodate our foray into active learning, especially team-based learning. The flip classroom, I feel like it makes you kind of stay on top of your game because like you're using your knowledge to answer questions as opposed to you know just passively sitting back. You can reconfigure this room however you want and the technology that's incorporated is such that the sound will always be good no matter where you are. Any place you look you'll see a projected image on the wall. When we built the Reardon classroom, we didn't have the luxury of having a lot of space so we took a 37-seat classroom, we captured the adjacent hallway and incorporated one small group room. They have high-powered computers anyone can log into. We have video conferencing technology embedded in the room, large displays. Some of them are dynamic and active so that people can actually move content onto screens. It's about the room, the technology, the content, and the people all working together. The next step was to create the Learner Learning Commons. Active learning methods that we use require a fair amount of independent and collaborative work by students. What that means for the library is that we provide a multitude of study area types, meeting types, collaboration types. For all of us students, we have to study a lot of hours and sometimes you need like a different change of pace. I could be in the pod where you know I have outlets and it's really kind of secluded, I'm in my own world. Our help desk is very active with students. It's the pathway to the teaching academy. Our teaching academy allows faculty to convert their passive learning activities into active learning activities. Almost all of our faculty development offerings are open to all of our faculty colleagues. And increasingly, we're drawing faculty from outside the Larner College of Medicine, and that's really exciting. We're being more intentional in terms of bringing together collaborators. We made space in the library by moving some of the books out to remote storage. We have Black Box Studio, the Clubhouse. This space is supposed to be self-service, really high-tech, high-touch. People should be able to come in here and want to play. The nicest thing is it's actually portable. The idea is we really want to not have obsolete technology or tools. We'll always be in a position where we're going to iterate instead of renovate. The fact that we have this ed tech space right meshed in the Larner Learning Commons really speaks to how we want faculty to see themselves supported. We became the Larner College of Medicine as a result of an extraordinary gift of $100 million from Bob and Helen Larner. Bob is an alumnus of the College of Medicine from the class of 1942 who wanted us to be, in his words, second to none in medical education. That's what we've done in transforming the space, transforming the culture of teaching, and transforming the overall curriculum that we use to train our students.